Hi everyone, my name is Shriya. I work as a data analyst at Takad Guild. So today what I will be teaching you is statistics using Python. So what is statistics? Statistics is a branch of applied mathematics where we collect the data, organize it and do an interpretation on it and we can go ahead and visualize it as well. So what is the use of it? We can go ahead and use these analysis in various fields for decision making. So in this session, I will be giving you a brief introduction on central tendencies, sample and population using the basic libraries from Python that is NumPy and Matplotlib. So let's start with the implementation. In this session, the first topic is central tendencies. Central tendency gives us the basic understanding about the distribution of the data around the central value. It has three subtopics that is mean, median and mode. So to understand mean, let us consider student test marks. To find the mean of it, we take the sum of the marks and divide it by number of subjects. And to find the median, we arrange the marks in either ascending or descending order and the middle value gives us the median. And to find the frequently occurring marks, we can go ahead and use mode. Please open the Jupyter Notebook. If you haven't installed the Jupyter Notebook, please find the link in the description box. Before we start with the central tendency, let's go ahead and import a couple of libraries in our Jupyter Notebook. So firstly, we will start with NumPy as np, matplotlib.pyplot as plt, matplotlib inline for visualization in the notebook. Let us go ahead and create a random number list to create this list, I will go ahead and use the syntax np.random.randint where it generates random number integer values. So uh, let me go ahead with uh, giving a range between 7 and 10 and the size of this list would be 20. And I will print out the list as well. So this would be our list and for this list we will calculate the mean median and mode. So this is the formula for mean. Mean is usually given as x bar for representation and the graph is also shown or as below. And to calculate the mean, we use numpy again. So it's a very simple syntax. It's just np.mean and the list mean. So this is the list mean, which is 7.9. So mean is the average of the all observed values and it gives us an understanding about the population. Now that we know mean, we will look at median. Median is the middle value of the data distribution. But before we go ahead and find the median, we have to arrange the data set in ascending or descending order. So how to implement this? Let us look at the Jupyter notebook again. So for the syntax on median is np.median and the list name. So let me run this and the median is 8. Mode is the most frequently occurring value or a data in a distribution. So you must be thinking that to find mode it is np.mode but unfortunately NumPy does not have an option to find mode. So we will go ahead and import mode from another library called statistics. So from statistics, we go ahead and import mode and we will go ahead and find the mode for our list. Let me just run this and the mode for this list is 8. Our next topic for today is population and sample. So when I say population, you must be thinking that population is the population of India or your own city. Yes, that is correct. But when it comes to population in statistics, we consider it as the total observation that is made. For example, if at all we are considering the study of height of men in India, population is a set of heights of all the men. So now that you know population, what is sample? Sample is nothing but a subset of population so that it describes the population in such a way that we would be able to interpret it. First, let us go ahead and create a population data set. For that, I am using the numpy.random which we used in our previous execution and the size of the data set over here is 100. The range what I am taking over here is 10 and 20. So this is our population data set. 
and let's go ahead and calculate the mean i'm sure you you must be catching up right now and the median for population and we all know that we don't have numpy dot mode so we have to import it from statistics so run that as well as we all know sample is a subset of population so i'm taking the data set over here as population and the size from which population i will be taking is 20 and to do a random uh, selection from population i'll be using random dot choice instead of ran random dot ran int and to find the mean median and mode of the sample i'm pretty sure you must be a pro right now so it is np.mean.sample let me run this and then median and mode so what i will be doing right now as you can see that the mean median and mode might be little closer to our population to see how it varies with other set of samples i have gone ahead and collected few more samples as you can see it is sample one sample 2, sample 3 and sample 4 where we go ahead and generate random samples and then we will take the average of it to see how it is coming close to population. So I will be running all the samples and I have used a simple for loop over here to find the average of, of them. And I have taken all the samples together and finding the mean for them and finding the mean of the population as well. As you can see, the mean of the population and the sample are coming close. So this, this will be explained even more further in our future videos. In the coming sessions, we will go ahead and implement some more statistics in Python. For more such videos, please do subscribe to our channel. Cat killed. Average is dead.